Uh, Patrick Fitzsimons. How old are you? Uh, 25. What gym do you train at? CrossFit Active. Is your gym here? Yeah, my gym and uh, Chad McKay, Luke right, Starr and Adam Perry. I feel awkward wearing them, so how long have you... Uh, when did that gym open? When did you guys uh, start it? Well, they started it first. We just had one little gym in Waverton, uh, 2009. And then I brought into it, and then we opened another one uh, in our time. And yeah. been going from there. How did you meet them? Uh, well, I met Starry. He was our uh, Eastern Suburb Rugby Strength and Conditioning Coach. And so I met him from there, and then... Uh, I started getting the CrossFit and then just started training with them and then went from there. And you just bought into it? Bought into it and Anything that's, been, uh, that's been my life. <laughs> yeah, since. So, I mean, yeah, it was... What makes a good CrossFit gym? Uh, I think to start with, uh, the coaches. Um, they've got to be... Just super welcoming to everyone and anyone, I think, and and if they're good people, it usually just stems down into the community and into the into the CrossFit gym. Um, I think if you have someone, uh, a coach with a bit of an ego or anything like that, um, it makes it tough to tough to grow a community. Does it real tough? Does it make it tough? <laughs> Was, that a, was it a goal for Acton to have mm. good competitors? Not at all, no. I think we were just so lucky with the people that came to us. Um, and I think, I was actually speaking to Bjorn about this yesterday. I think from the outside a lot of people see us as the competitive gym. Um, don't get me wrong, we've got great competitors and, and a big pool of them. But I think if you actually came in and, and saw what our gym's about, it's not. It's not the competitors, it's it's the community. Um, it's our level one guys, so just the general public. That's what the gym is about. And I think just because we do well, because we've got a, a big pool of athletes, people see us as that competitive gym. Well, you had the most athletes at regionals of any gym. Mm. Two teams and mm. how many individuals? Uh, I think six, six or seven. Yeah. So, you don't even know, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, like we've we've got good athletes. There's yeah. no, no doubt about that. But. How hard is it to pick the teams for acting? Yeah, uh, Piri, Piri and Starry do most of that. And I think, like with the top team this year, it was it was clear on who's going in the top team. But for regionals in the, the second and third team, it's it's tough. It's it's like it's like you yeah sport at school. Like people are going to miss out. It's it's disappointing for people. Hard calls need to be made and yeah. And it's That's close. So you had three teams and six individuals. Three teams and six individuals. Yeah. So I mean it's it's tough for, for those guys who train so hard all year and it's their dream to make regionals in the team and yeah and they don't get picked. And but that's every sport, isn't it? That's every sport. Yeah. Teams. Exactly. Yeah. Would you ever go teams? Oh. Every year when the when the team comes back from the games and they have a great time, I always there's a little there's some thoughts in my head. I think oh, I'd be so cool to do that. But I've done a few team comps and I I enjoy it. It's fun. Like it's it's good fun. But I don't think it's for me. So in the next five to seven years, I don't think I'll go team. Maybe after that, I might. If, I'm, if my body still holds up, I might I might try a team, but I just want to keep keep them individual. Who's been the best performer, or who's been the most impressive athlete for you this weekend? Um, there's been a couple. Luke McMahon is crushing it. He's I think maybe at regional, I don't know where he finished, maybe 20 or 30th or something, and he's just doing it this weekend. Um, I think he's sitting sixth or seventh or something. Um, Dean Lindelayton's doing real well. He he has a tough regional, so it's good to see him out there doing well at the top. Yeah, those two. Are good. Yeah. good programs for you, see. Good programs. Um, we do our own programming in the morning. So during the, during the day, just me and Bakes. It's pretty much as we feel during the day. We go in, what have we done this week, what do we feel, and are we fresh here, legs fresh, upper body fresh, so we'll program during that, but um, our gym pro programming, CrossFit Hunter, is done by Rob Downton at uh, Raw Conditioning. How long have you done CrossFit for? Um, just a little over two years, so I started after regionals 2012, with a goal to make 2013 regionals. <laughs> what made you so, like, why did you get into CrossFit? Um, I just needed something new. 
I'm looking to challenge. I wanted to compete in something. Um, and I was just doing normal generic gym work at a Globo gym. And um, I just wanted to expand. Just expand. I'm sick of trying to get big and ripped for summer. Why not be big and ripped all year round, right? <laughs> what, uh, I'm still trying, I'm still trying. What do you do for work? Uh, I'm in the Air Force as a physical trainer. Um, I, I got the best job in the world. What do you do? Describe a day at work. Oh, what I really do or what, what the people want to hear me? What I do. What you really do. <laughs> what I really do. I, um, I head into work at about, start work at seven. Um, he during nothing. the morning, I either run. He starts at 7, <laughs> he finishes at 3, and he fucking kicks a football in between. <laughs> no, Maybe no, twice. No, no. I, um, he told me. I'll <laughs> Shut up, Scotty. And we're paying for it, the taxpayers. That's the I worst pay part. Tax. I pay we pay, we pay for CJ to kick a football at work. He's pretty good at it. And he's not even good at kicking football. <laughs> I did it with him in the gym the other day. It's terrible. Are you surprised about the programming this year? No. <laughs> Not at all, no adventure, no. I reckon by the end of it everything will just be completely shot. He always finds a way to wreck every single inch of your body. What's the worst part right now on you? Worst part? Weirdly enough, it's probably... It's, a comp it's probably between shoulders and legs, man. The extra war balls got me yesterday. Because you did push, too many of them. Yeah, we <laughs> did that extra set and that just pushed it over the edge. I've been trying to like fight back from that. But shoulders, everything has had grip in shoulders, man. Yeah. Every workout's had some form of grip and some form of shoulders. So, yeah, that was a breath of fresh air, the deadlift run one. <laughs> <laughs> how, um, how many bananas do you eat a week? Bananas do I eat a week? Probably close to 14, yeah, I would say. Yeah, about two a day. Two a day? Yeah, I'm a big fan of bananas. How about you, CJ? Uh, I'm cutting up for summer. So, <laughs> I've cut my banana intake down to seven. To seven per week. You both follow Rob's programming and would quite often do similar workouts, I'm guessing. Do you ever trade results or scores or numbers? I don't think we have since we've been... I mean, we were training together for the regionals, but since then, I don't think we've actually compared a workout or a loop or anything. Apart from, apart from like, banter on social media. Sorry? Apart from like the, the odd banter on social media, like we don't actually... Like... Not really? I think Rob programs specifically for Brandon, he programs specifically for me, and then I program for myself as well, so we're not programming the same stuff. Okay. Brandon's got a lot of strengths that I don't have, like in the deadlifts, Brandon, like Rob and Brandon go all day and I struggle. Um, then stuff like running and thrusters and stuff, I'm probably in burpees and stuff, like I don't have to do any, because yeah. I'll be faster than Rob and Brandon, so you can't do the same stuff. You know? Makes sense. Um, are you surprised by where you're sitting right now on the leaderboard? Um, Leading into regionals, I thought I was going to have a good shot at qualifying. I trained really well with Brandon. Weekend didn't go so well, so I thought I would have a good crack here. If I was going to beat Rob, I knew he would probably be pretty heavy. So I'm quite strong like, with my lifting. So um, yes and no. Maybe at the moment I'm quite a, a bit in front. But I didn't think I would be so, like in front. Maybe like one point or something. So try and finish strong because Rob's obviously coming back <laughs> really hard. How um, how annoying is it to follow Keegan on Instagram? Very. I, uh, yeah, I'm fucking still not winning, am I? <laughs> I I feel like uh, I feel less of a man. <laughs> Every time I log in, my testosterone levels drop. He's, uh, he's incredibly strong. Then I come to Swartz Challenge and just do gymnastic. <laughs> <laughs> workouts in a row. <laughs> we, all, we all requested a Benji knowing that Keegan was his athlete. Yeah. So he programs yeah. a heavily yeah. gymnastic. Where's the famous Benji? <laughs> <laughs> that was impressive. Serving? Thank you.
Duffy.
Gymnastics, so were you surprised? Um, no, I wasn't surprised. Just, uh, yeah, it was a little different than I thought it was going to be, but you don't know what to expect, really. That's the nature of what we do, so. What's yeah. your training like now after the game? Do you take it easy for a bit, or? I haven't taken it easy, but I've had a lot of commitments, like I've been traveling around a fair bit and stuff, so it has interrupted my training a fair bit. So I haven't trained as well as I'd like to. Is that commitment just how well you do the games, or? Uh, no, I said yes to a few things, like getting part of the community and like we're running the big team comps for all stars and stuff like that. There's a lot of a lot of interstate travel and it took its toll a little bit, but um, from now on I've got to just you know, put that stuff aside and concentrate on what I do best and, and uh, what I enjoy, which is my training and, and then come into these events. Get ready for next year, is that the goal? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Pumped to do pumped to do well at the games next year and, and that's the goal in my training and I'll keep working hard and doing all the right things and hopefully I can achieve that. And you have the team series coming up, the CrossFit Invitation. Yep. What are you looking forward to with that event? Oh, I love team events. Yeah, you know, it takes a, that pressure off. You get to share with a few others, which is cool. It's a little bit more fun. So you do the hard work, short sprints, and you know, it is still tough, but it's it's good to experience it with other people and they're going through the same thing. And you can strategize a little bit more. So there's a little bit, a little bit more to it. Um, yeah, I reckon it's gonna be heaps of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Are you gonna beat the Americans? <laughs> yes, we are. 